it's me again. I'm upset. Because in the previous video, I forgot to mention things that I forgot to mention. So now I'm going to mention them. Number one, someone asked me in the other video in the comments, was there a mummy included in the series? Yes, there is a mummy that came with the other three monsters I showed you in the other video. But number one, the mummy is not connected to those other three monsters. Those other three monsters interacted with each other through the course of the original Universal films, especially in Abbott and Costello Me Frankenstein, which was the best one because you really got to see it intermingling, as opposed to House of Frankenstein and House of Dracula. Each monster got a segment of their own and wasn't as cool as that because of Me Frankenstein. So, also, I forgot to mention things about my figures. Even if they're obvious and you can see them, I want to mention them. Okay? Okay, you can see the face paint is totally different and how I did the cape and everything. Now, this was exactly like this. I use what they call big area marker and you just kind of go over it and it covers it like in a darker tint. And then I just use markers and pens to do the chest and everything and that's pretty much it for this. Then, with the Frankensteins, okay, you'll notice his head bolts are black. I made mine silver. Move the indicator out of my way. And they're both wearing the same jacket, but what I did was I cut off the f fringes or whatever you want to have these pointer things and cut them all off and then I cut the sleeve black give it that look and of course obviously I changed the boots and you can see I did the eyes differently and I took the eyebrows and covered the eyebrows and go way down to you know just so they're barely under the uh, eyebrow bump and redid the lips a little bit see how that one is that's theirs that's mine I mean just look at the bolts Really, a nice silver on the bolts really highlights the whole thing. Actually, my whole face, I'm not my face, my face is just, uh, uh, that face, look at that beautiful face. I mean, we're talking some good, fine, impressive design there. Yeah. And, I, I, and then they are the glow in the dark ones, but I did all the hands on the characters. You know, you see, I did uh, Dracula's hand, give a little hint of blue, you know. Of course, you can see the green on the hands on my Frankenstein. Oh, one thing about these figures, Toy Company, they have, they, they're like, they're, you say, wound too tight. They're too tight. Whatever's inside, the rubber band, the string, whatever, is too tight, and you get, it really limits mobility. You can't lift it up too high. You can't, see? And the legs, you can't get like the wide foot duck, duck look, duck walk look out, you know, it just kind of stays that way. So, yeah, I, just want you to, I want you to admire what I did in comparison. Come on, let's, let's, let, okay, not too close. You can see if I get too close, you can see that I'm, uh, a little sloppy with the paint, or the type of paint is too rough. But damn, look at that. Okay, now, my Wolfman, I'm not proud of that one. But, I'm going to show you and tell you what I did. Now, as you can see, I never noticed this until I started to video. You can see the hint of green that's painted onto this. It's kind of nice. It's almost like a, uh, like the kind of green, uh, like in a, inside a shell or something like a muscle shell or something. And uh, it looks nice, it's not terrible, but it just doesn't look like a human wolf man to me. Looks just like a wolf, a man's body. Now, this is, okay, now I'm gonna show you first. I shortened, I just tucked up under the thing and I just kind of folded and whatever to shorten the look, to make it look a little bit, I don't know, I think it looks cooler this way. And like I said, I gave him these boots to be more appropriate with the look of a medieval times or something. And uh, fur and all that, like I mentioned in the video. Now, 
I'm going to tell you essentially what I did with the other one that looked like this before, right, then after. I cut the ears off and I had to be careful, put one on the left side and one on the right side so I wouldn't make any mistakes. Then I sliced off the sides of his cheek and it's solid, it's not hollow. It's solid pretty much almost down to close to the face and I had to just I didn't need them anymore. Then I got this moldable glue, it comes in a little package called Sugru. And uh, you can mold it around, it's like clay, whatever. And then it, it eventually hardens to like a hard rubber substance. And so, and then I, at first when I did it, his top of his head was down like way too low. And I thought like, that don't look right, so I get extra Sugru. So I put on, I mold, I mold, I mold. I used a little super glue inside just to make sure the ears would stay in place. It, the super might have held it, but I figured why take a chance. And uh, I just uh, kept molding, molding, shaping, shaping, molding, molding. Then I take a comb to give it like hairs, you know, it looks like strands of hair and stuff like that. And that's pretty much how I got him uh, to look this way. Uh, I kind of wanted to go thinner on the face, but I was afraid I was going to reach the point of reaching a hole, and then I'd have to deal with how to stuff the face with something, and then try to get the mold glue to go around that and yeah it just might have been a problem so uh, let's see and I like to, I wish I could have all six at the same time but it's impossible for me so I'm just go in backwards order now compare the last time the wolfman Frankenstein, I think I like my Frankenstein best. There's just something about I did to make him look so effing cool. I mean, it's the same figure, I just made it better. Look how gorgeous that is. Man, I gotta pat myself on the back. Now, there's one thing about these figures though, there's not much quality control in the bottom of the head when they cut it, place it down on the body. Like one side's a little, I tried pushing, but it just doesn't straighten up. But uh, who cares? I mean, just look how awesome my figure looks. And of course, let me show you the Draculas again. Those who didn't see my other video, and shame on you for not watching my other video. It's pretty cool in relation to this one. Let's just tell you other people that I just trimmed the, I, I put, a black sharpie on the trim here you know this whatever they call this and I figured that I, I I could have easily done this wait a minute I grab some. here we go I could have just done I was almost gonna do it take this cape which is from the was it McFarlane toy no Jack specific Jack specifics Dracula you know and just kind of took this cape off I don't want to kill it and put this one on and called it a day, but that would be kind of like cheating. It wouldn't be as innovative as my idea. So, there we go. Dracula and Dracula. Now, while I was painting this, I was looking at, you know, if you look at, see, look at from the side, you look at that sculpt, you know, try, try to imagine, like, not the crazy eyes and the fangs, it's almost like a Joker sculpt. And I said, like, oh my God, I'm gonna get a Joker looking character. But I said, hey, what the hell? You know, you gotta go through with it, you gotta finish the job and do it well. And well, there we go. And what the heck? What the heck? I got to. You know, I got to. Gotta put them in order. Look at that. Look at that. That's the best. And I might not, I might not have much talent for uh, neatness, but I sure got a great talent for innovation. So goodbye.